One thing you need to understand, we're not on the side bridge. You can't afford to sit on your ass and watch broadcast cable. What what if some that some fat guy named Buddha sneaks up on you? Don't don't let him feed you the seed oil and apples the rest of your life. Theta is new oil. Feel is new bud. This is extremely fucking KD I hate you. Tor torting movies and three three sixty P is a new grand larceny. The world's changing. You either change it or it changes you. Podcasters are the new Israelites. Facebook gannies are the new Nazi army. And baby, it's Jew City. And where the fuck am I is? Welcome to the Potato Man podcast and welcome to the revolution. Howdy ho, it's me, Potato Head, and I've come to say a happy Jew year from your Israeli pals from at the Potato Man podcast. So you may have heard, local Chinese hero Andrew Tate has been arrested for human fucking trafficking. Now, this, this was after a big online spat with Greta Thunderbird, which she said, and I quote, Aha, uh -huh, lol, lol, you have tiny pee pee. Which he responded, no you. Which she responded with a video of her crying 30, 34 minutes as the score from Mario Galaxy played in the background. Which he responded with a video of him naked, laughing, and eating a very nasty looking pizza. True. Now, pizza and human trafficking? You may think, you may think, but don't worry. We're sponsored by Israel. So don't, don't, we, we ask you not to think about it. The first mm -hmm. trans prisoner not to kill themselves in prison was exec executed today. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> All day. Okay. Before anything could happen, I would get the fuck. Brand's <laughs> icon. Holy shit. Breaking waves. Breaking that glass ceiling. <laughs> This is this is the first execution of an openly trans prisoner who who is in who is in prison for stalking and killing a former girlfriend, then dumping the body near the Mississippi River in St. Louis, which I'll give credit is the most decent thing floating in the St. Louis water system. Oh, so true. So true. So true. Famous actor Jeremy Jeremy Renner, star of the Pain Closet, was put in critical condition for slipping on a frozen banana and falling into his head like Tom and Jerry character, creating a big oversized well on his head, and then he was crushed by a fucking snowplow. And he anyway, he was in pretty bad condition, but not but he's fine. Finer than Arkansas City was doing on New Year's Eve. Let's just say me, Robert Cremo, and Brutus went for a night on the town, and things got violent. <laughs> In all, thing, in all seriousness, Mr. Menneker recently confirmed his cancer diagnosis and did his last stream. No. <laughs> uh, very sad. He's most likely going to die, and we are all deeply sad, saddened. To, so to honor him, I'll read you one of my favorite poems on death. <sighs> Mustard on that beat. You R.I.P. We just killed the club. <laughs> Drink veteran out with the bottle. Almost killed the thug. thug. I'm so high, I can't feel the drugs. Too many haters sitting here. I don't feel the love. R.I.P. 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 We can't release we, this. We just <laughs> killed the club. Took a patron to the head. Almost killed the thug. And thank you, everyone. Everybody. Every pony. Um... <clears throat> And welcome to the Potato Man podcast, and welcome to the revolution. Damn straight. All right. Damn straight. Uh, first things first, we need to we keep ready to do this. Uh, introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm Beat. Yeah, that guy's the he, um He was on Epstein's Island. True. Hello, I am Doc. The Doc. The Linquist. The Linquist. Professional uh, doctor in. 
cock sucking and boning potatoes mother. I have a PhD. This this Real. doctor doctor Linkus has a Lego channel. Just saying. <laughs> Used to. Used, Used to. to. Had. Oh, uh, you, you, I you, grew you, you to be a better person. You know. <laughs> you, you you branded your channel. No, I just kind of got blacker. True. So, are you still doing Lego content? No. <laughs> what, what content are you doing now, sir? Uh, you, film you... editing, like <clears throat> the film edit community. Like, I see. I I see. The shit that Deet does. Uh, Deet and I kind of so got into it at about the same time. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. And, and it's me. It's me, the potato man. And I'm, and because I am moving into your new neighborhood, I am legally. Uh, no. I, I no, le no, 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 Soon, I will be getting an actual ID, and then the government can track me. Yippee! Uh, -huh. uh but I, I, I had to. I was, let's get on some sort of track. I had an idea for an episode since since both Medicare's retirement and eventual uh, passing away, and I want to point out to the audience that well, that that was in honor of Medicare. We were making, yes. we were making fun of, but we we're white, lightly making fun. We're, it's an er, in earnest because we, we love Medicare. Oh no, they came uh, they came out of nowhere because Medicare. I've known about Medicare since even back in 2019. Yeah, I, I would say I like. I'm the big. I've watched Medicare videos and I was especially paying attention to them during the change the channel stuff. Right. Um. But it never occurred because I knew you know, like he has a life and a job outside of like online. But when I, I found out about the cancer stuff, it like it hit like a train. I was like, "Holy!" Oh, wow. Yeah, which you really can't say for a lot of the other content creators, you know, in his sort of realm, because a lot of them don't have lives <laughs> outside <laughs> of what they do online. I mean, which is I sad. that Turkey Tom had AIDS. I'd be sad that he's dying, but I wouldn't be like, "Wow, he, he has, has so much life to it. prosper." Yeah, no. <laughs> Not to be mean, well, actually, to be mean, uh, but <laughs> but no, yeah, it, it it's it sucks. It's it's not yeah, it's, it's not good. We, we, but yeah, we, uh, since that and the, the recent Sam Hyde and Charles drama and Sam, Andrew Tate's arrest, people that like we can talk about people with fellow and that trans <laughs> chick getting a fucking execution. <laughs> That's awesome. Shot in the back of the head. Do they really oh, no. fell off? They fell off. So that that Are brings you? us to the, our uh, circle topic of today's podcast episode: is falling off, suffering yeah. from success, and accepting or not accepting in some people's manner, falling far from the tree. First time we actually had a topic on the podcast that we followed. Hopefully, well, we, we have well, to we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> okay, so, um. Since I've brought it up, do you guys know about the current Sam Hyde and Charles drama? No, not really. Okay, Charles was part of MDE. He's a, currently a man with bipolar disorder. Um, and he he's the man who uh, would never be what they wanted him to be. He, yeah, and he's he was one of the funniest members of MDE. Uh, all three, I mean, I love Sa Sam and Nick, but Charles was also really great. And I just thought uh, the reason they broke up was that after the show got cancelled, they just went their separate ways. Uh, which is what how Sam says it, and that's how Nick says it. But according to Charles, they had the opportunity to make a pilot um, for some show after MD got cancelled. And according to him, uh, Sam Sam can't, is the one who got it cancelled. Though Sam, th So that... But, the way he describes it doesn't make sense. Like, from what uh, Sam says, he, he wanted World Peace Season 2. And was like, hey, we should try to get World Peace Season 2. And that's 
delayed the opportunity for them to make a pilot for some show. And Charles like hates hates him for it. But why would but, Sam get the pilot canceled? Well, the the, the reason that MDE got uh, World Peace got canceled was because all these people in Adult Swim uh, knew about Sam Hyde and his comedy and this the the trolling. And then they were like, no, we can't have this guy. Specifically post-Gamergate during 2016, all that nonsense. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they were like, we need to get this guy. Specifically Tim Heidecker and Brett Gelman were like, we can't have we can't have Nazis making a TV <laughs> show. Um, that's what got canceled. According to, according to Nick, uh, he hasn't really talked about it much. Oh, uh, this all started because some guy asked him, why isn't Charles with Nick and Sam anymore? And Sam just said, well, I would just, it would gradually stop being friends. Nothing big happened. And Charles is like, got my show canceled, retard. It's all these things. But like Charles isn't in a good place either. Charles has been very, he's very clearly has, does have bipolar. That's a problem. So uh, and it, what are you saying, Potato? They're saying the fact that he he got he fell off because he had bipolar. No, I say he fell off because Charles couldn't move on after MD. Really, he just had his dreams. And Sam Hyde is the first man to admit that he fell off. Like he has he has his own thing going on. Okay. Yeah, kind of. He's got Gumroad and he's making shorts and stuff. He's got a podcast and he hangs out with his friend Nick. And I guess now this <laughs> now he's a boxing trainer. I get, he did kind of have a resurgence last year. Who has an uh, agenda to kill Hassan Piker? Space, we, should, we need to get him on the podcast. Get him on the panel. Sam or Hassan Piker? Uh, Sam. <laughs> I mean, I'd be fine with having literally anybody else. I'd be fine with having Jared uh, from Subway on. But not yeah, I'd, have Jared, I'd have Jared go <laughs> go over for Hassan Piker. Okay. <laughs> Um, about <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, yeah. Also another right. pedophile. Yes. Speaking of people who fell off and his Twitch streamers. <laughs> my my favorite person, my favorite person ever. Uh, Keffels. I love, I love Keffels. Oh, I don't think Keffels ever got on. No, okay, that's um, fair. But the, the, the whole like Kiwi Farms nonsense that happened was... I mean, when, it, when Kiwi Farms went down... For seven hours, I remember. I counted. I remember seven hours. It went down for seven hours, and then it went back on under a Russian domain. All she, all she so did, true. all she did, was make Cloudflare drop it. <laughs> Kiwi yeah. Farms is still up and running. I can still go access it right now. Are you? Are you, like, you got like a Kiwi Farms profile or something? No, no I did. I've, only, I've never posted on Kiwi Farms. I've used it in the past, oh. back when I was like obsessed with Quinn reviews and to check some Tom Myers stuff. Though most of the Tom Myers threads have been deleted. What? Uh, That's like, uh, damn. Yeah. And I, I went on it a couple times during the whole controversy was going on. Well, speaking of somebody who's fallen off, Tom Myers. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Tom Myers. Me, no, Tom no, Myers I got all- I no, I actually I completely podcast. disagree. Tom Tom has like he's continuously gotten on. He is getting higher on. at the moment. Can we get can we get much higher? So, so high. high. All right, let me let me let's go back to the Keppel's topic. I, I have some words. I have some words of interest. Okay, go off, go off, go off, go off, go off. Pop off, you know, queen. That the whole that whole that whole uh, Kiwi Farms thing was probably because people started like not liking Keppel. Because you know, Keffel's like people knew Keffel's at first because she, she's the guy she got um a uh, Destiny band and it's like uh, yes. right then she started saying some shit about Destiny and like whatever YouTube is like which hey, then, which then Destiny can't retaliated with yeah the biggest <laughs> rebound I've ever seen in my life yeah. I don't love I don't like Destiny that much but yeah. that that coming out with the receipts yeah it's pretty epic. <laughs> That's a bit later, but like she, after people stopped liking because she's saying some bullshit, she had to target Kiwi Farms. And so it's like, wow. 
So, I mean, which Kiwi, it's not like Kiwi Farms. It's an easy target. Though. It's an easy target. Kiwi you know, Farms they... was dying before the whole war started. Yeah. Yeah. And Capital, I think. He just like reunited Cap- the community. That's all that happened. Yeah. And I, I don't like Capitals because Capitals used the deaths of three people, which, well, yes, they all had Kiwi's farm sites. Two of them definitely weren't because of Kiwi's farms. And one of them, there's a good chance they're still alive. Yeah. Yeah. It's if, like, if, well, okay, let's see. Bankara has Kiwi farm th- threads. If he blew his head off right now, <laughs> would we say that? <laughs> The Kiwi Farms killed him. <laughs> no. That was the logic. That was Kevl's logic. The, the, exactly. Because these people had Kiwi Farms threats, that's why they died. One of them, one of the uh, people who killed himself directly said it wasn't Kiwi Farms. So either Kevl's mm-hmm. just did not look at it, or she did not care, and just decided to go to attack Kiwi Farms. And why she attacked Kiwi Farms? Probably because it was a good book. Yeah. Of well, course. I mean, look at yeah. how how far she pushes things to continuously grow in niche popularity that she's not going to get. So she'll do anything yeah. to get she'll those those words out because if she doesn't, then she falls off. And so here's the thing, right? Uh, Keffel's like scams her fans to go on a tour of Europe. Like I got to run, because like she's she's baiting, she's baiting. And his, and Wasn't she is, talking about going to Ireland even before? She was like, I'm in hiding. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You know, she went to someone who was already doxxed. She was, she was living with a, a doxxed man. Mm-hmm. And here, here's the thing. I can't find anything about it. Every, everything I look at it. So they say that it wasn't Kiwi Farms who originally doxxed. I don't know what website it is. I have no fucking clue. Was like, I think it was Chain. I don't think it was B or some shit. I've heard... I don't know what it, it was, but... Yeah, I don't... It's like, all right, because, you know, uh, Destiny's like, oh, it's just super... They sent up pizzas like to my house. They sent cheese pizzas to my house. I had to download that fucking video from one of the, the shit post videos I made. <laughs> and <laughs> there, was, there was also Keffel's claim that it was like she was, like, put up on gunpoint as well, even though... No. Yeah, which has been confirmed to know they... The police came to her house and knocked on the door, and the, yes, they did have guns. They didn't yeah. come and s- was s- breaking into her house, swatting her. Though it was, th- does, didn't she live in Canada? Yes, she lived in Canada. I would expect that from Canada, but yeah. <laughs> but not. Okay. okay, you know, after all this, after all this drama, after all this uh, minimal flight, like after all scamming her friends to go across Europe. You look at her YouTube now. She has nothing. She's exactly. Easy. You know why? Because she's born. There's nothing interesting about Keffels. There we go. That's the th- that's the thing. When I first well, I saw her a couple times, but when she started attacking Ricky Berwick for daring, for daring to buy a, for daring to pay stone toss to make a a stone toss Ricky Berwick. <laughs> uh, oh oh boy. And Colin, he's like, he's like, we need to deplatform Ricky Berwick. I'm just like, well, I mean, I wouldn't call Ricky Berwick the funniest person in the world. I mean, he's, a lot of stuff is kind of cringe. But when you look at look at Ricky Berwick, take out the internet. This is an important thing in this whole conversation. Take out like the internet of all of us. The, look at these people as people. Ricky Berwick was a disabled man who couldn't couldn't fucking bend his arms and legs. He was able to use the internet to create a community. And raise a lot of money for charity for disabled people. And then her being like, "Well, oh, he got this. He got a stone toss of himself. That means he must be a Nazi and deplatformed." It's so fucking bullshit <laughs> to me. Shot. From just like a a basic way of looking at things. I don't care if Ricky's made some cringe jokes. Well, like again, she just change. grasps at anything that she can cause drama with to bring more attention upon herself. But yeah. but Kefels, Kefels is the leader of the trans community, you guys. You don't understand. Oh, true. She's our uh, bloody goddess. That's true. I love her. Bloody goddess. Bloody goddess. <laughs> I don't. Uh, oh yeah, that was. So, I was just reminded what she said. That uh, Kiwi Farms was created uh, to to bully a poor uh, a trans creator. It was like talking about Chris Chan. 
<laughs> and I was like, are you, are Christian's like, in prison right now. Or... Well, uh, <laughs> Quick Kiwi Farms <laughs> sprouted out from the Quickie Forums. Yes, that's, that's where it came right. from. Yeah. Didn't Christian become trans because he wanted to fuck a woman? Yes. Well, it's the same thing with the four, the uh, the four chan femboy. Like, what what was that all about? Oh. It was like the uh, some like mass hysteria thing that happened over at four chan, where these people basically cultivated a group of lonely men to into turning themselves into mm. femboys, and well, yeah, yeah, well, and it's like uh, if you can't get a girlfriend, then become the girlfriend. We're gonna go down a much different rabbit hole. <laughs> someone go into the Emily Fortunes. Someone obviously watched a Turkey Town video. That's so much. What? Tur t turkey Town. Turkey Town talks about a lot of people that follow. I was going to start. What does this that have to do with Turkey Town? Made a video about it. Oh, um, well, f I don't fucking know. I, I was I was going to start this conversation that with that us going is like. Angry video game nerd. No, let's, talk about it. The no, let's talk about it. The Almighty Lolly has been recently did for Doug Sember. He reviewed each uh, Channel Awesome movie. I put review in quotes because each video is actually him debunking the Change the Channel document. Uh, according to him, all the Jew Warrior stuff is true, except he there's no evidence that he was actually a pedophile. The only I'm thing that implies that he was a pedophile was he slept with an 18-year-old girl who in the document said that, he, that she was mentally 16, which is like... that That's just how 18-year-olds are. The fuck, does, the fuck does that mean? <laughs> mentally like, 16? Know, huh? mm -hmm. I mean, but how, how old was Juari at the time? But, I mean, it still doesn't make him pedophile. It makes him he, morally no, dupe. What he finds out is that I mean, he, find, he looks in the, the Suburban Nights video, he talks about how the Holly chick who they complain about uh, is like she got fired. She worked for the for the channel for Channel Awesome for so long as they tried. She got fired. It turns out she was covering up the Juario stuff, all his like sexual <laughs> escapades. Oh, okay. okay so she's, so she's a piece of shit. Yeah, she's, and she was, so... her name is on the document as one of the contributors. This... And we we can we. <laughs> There was no but also there was no didn't. embezzlement. There was no embezzlement from Channel Awesome. All that was was just poor. Um, was, hmm. that was just poor money management. Not saying not saying that they weren't stupid for what they did with the Kickstarter money for Popco's Hotshot. They were very idiotic with it. But very, very more. But yeah, but yeah. none of that really like I, I like people get really mad specifically when Car because I think when Car just got really pissed off at. Everybody there. Yeah, well, he's a little baby. He is, well, a little little angry baby. little dude. I, I was, I was, I was kind of with Linkara. I was like, I can understand them. And then I saw the, the one where he got mad at Oni plays, and I was like, oh, <laughs> this all makes sense now. He, he is really. He's a bitch. Yeah, Linkara, I guess. Yeah. That's true. Linkara, he's a bitch. Is I have to. Say, but... he's a... Which like I would I would say any of those people I would say the only one who's fallen off is AVGN because you can't really make an argument that when Kara or Nostalgia Kirk were ever on. No, no, that's bullshit. No, Nostalgia Kirk okay. was definitely on. And he's still on. He's still going I, hard. Okay, I will say I will say based on the last the most recent Nostalgia Critics, I think he's he's found a new groove. I think his videos have gotten better. Uh, I like his own stage video a lot. Yeah, it's he, he's it's actually back, baby. a critic. And I, I love Doug. Doug's um, the Salty Critic has been <laughs> weirdly a part a part of my life in the most eventful moments of my life. Weirdly enough, I probably wouldn't be friends with Potato. I wouldn't be friends with Potato here if it wasn't for the Salty Critic. And I wouldn't have let me on the bad choice road to be friends with. Uh, with Doc. <laughs> the oh, good the choice bad road. choice road. I'm referencing fucking bad Better Call Saul. The, the bad choice road. All the oh. series of choices and action accents put you on, uh, on the road to. You know what's yeah, funny? I, I so. wouldn't. I wouldn't have met uh, Deet or Potato if it wasn't for a man who 
what who fell off because he was forced out of his home. <laughs> <laughs> which, which was Gypsy Crusader, uh, and if it weren't for him, and it's so it's so wild because he's actually you know in contrast we can joke about how much we love him and all that, but he he is a terrible person, uh, and yet if it weren't for him, I don't I couldn't be here you know doing this podcast or at least have these friends who have um, you know conjured. What I do with my after evening hours. It is. Yeah, great. Uh, I, I didn't, D, D has famously, famously said, Suburban Nights has ruined my life. <laughs> yeah. And yet it still it's changed his life for the better. You could say that. Uh, you could say that. You could say that. But because of Suburban Nights, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of shit happened. Yeah, I mean, I'd say, I mean, I've 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 gone through less shit, so I can't I can't say anything. Well, yeah, I've, I've, I mean, I've, I've, we don't need to get into it, but it's one of those things where it's like of everything that happened, all the Doug Walker related shit. Uh, the reason it sticks out to me is because we were all just children that felt thought we were like adults. We were bitching around we're, about D and D for Doug Walker. We're all we were yeah, all children. That's what. I know, I know. Until, until Stab. Stab. He, Stab it, he wrote off. the whole uh, fucking thing about Doug Walker falling off. We need to kill Doug Walker because he's falling off. We need to kill Doug Walker. Which is no, funny because that, we gotta... that bleeds into the Braxton Just Stop stuff. Because uh, one of our co hosts, EDC, makes the bold claim that Braxton has fallen off. Uh, I think, I think Braxton's falling off, bro. I think he's going good. He's on. Yeah, think, yeah, you see, yeah, you see, like his uh, Don is Don is coming back. Don is rising, but he fell off for some time, but he's coming back. He's coming um, back. You're going to get Sylvester slow on the podcast. He's coming. He's coming to come on. Don't be worried. He's gonna be, we're gonna bring back. He's gonna bring us back to the promised land. We're gonna bring back <laughs> Al Pacino, baby. Al Pacino is gonna be on the podcast. Pacino, he did not baby, fall off. He did not fall. Okay, who's another person who? Fa- One day we got to read the like the Hellwalker summary in chat, like for uh, you know, not even podcast. just the internet, you know, the internet cult that has kind of uh, seen the more of the rise and fall of themselves more than any other sort of community out there. But celebrities in general, you know, like you have, like I mentioned, Al Pacino, who kind of sold his soul to Dunkin' Donuts for rent money. <laughs> Um, Jer- Jeremy Renner really fell off. I'm not going. <laughs> even, yeah, he fell off his snowplow. <laughs> 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 I, I thought he was like fell on his head or some shit. And then uh, Red told me, "Oh, we got crushed in snowplow." No, it was his though. Like, he was, was driving it and he fell out and he like he ran over himself. <laughs> Yeah, and well, let's not forget right. the reason he even fell out in the first place was because he slipped on a frozen banana. True. <laughs> he had it in the glove department. He had it in the glove department, and it just slipped out. And he's like, "Oh, saving that for later." Oh, star of the pain closet. That's like, that's like a Mario. That's like a Mario Mario Kart. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but AVG is the one I want to talk about because I, I didn't even talk about. It. I think the perception that was there, specifically now where I brought in Braxton, because Braxton just stopped, made a video called uh, AVGN versus Nostalgia Critic, why people still love AVGN, why people don't like Nostalgia Critic. And I'd say over the past two years, it's changed from people like the Nostalgia Critic now and now dislike AVGN. Because AVGN's videos have gotten crap. I don't like them anymore. <laughs> he... He's very. He's become very lax, and I can tell he doesn't want to do AVGN anymore. He hasn't wanted to do AVGN for a long time. Which I love. I love the old AVGN videos. They're so fun, creative, and even though they're, it's just him saying "fuck" over and over again, they can get some some laughs out of me. I'm drinking Rolling Rock on the Rolling Rocker. I mean, mm-hmm. it's classic. It's classic. <laughs> You want to listen to some tunes? Listen to some tunes. Yeah, so AVGN, he, he's probably just got to retire. I got to... 
probably has enough money to retire. Yeah, but he's own, now the Ava Jane character is owned by Screenwave Media, and they're keeping him doing it. Yeah. It's, Can you just, it's... He doesn't even play video games anymore. I don't, I don't know. I like James and Ralph a lot, but he, I don't. Yeah. He doesn't want to be doing it anymore. They did the Cinemassacre podcast, which was awful. Uh, much uh, not 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 as good as our podcast. Of course, of course. But they just the keep Man podcast will never follow. Yeah, and now he's lost his hair. That was, oh yeah, his hair is falling. Off. His hair has <laughs> fallen <laughs> off harder than he has. Mm-hmm. Uh, potato man podcast will never fall off no we'll never yeah, fall off. we're immortal yeah um, until like a UDC is like revealed as a pedophile or something yeah that's true we're fucking angelic we're never gonna fall off okay I, I was gonna bring up Andrew mm-hmm. Tate and Chad Man and Chris Chan but did, did they did they were they really on <laughs> uh, Chad Man was on bro was making big bucks Chad, Chad Man was on yeah I wouldn't. I couldn't say that Chris Chan was ever on. It was like his own following yeah. believed his that own. for him. Yeah. But his own zone. I'll say that yeah. part of Shrek retold that Chris Chan did is, is amazing. Where he makes him recreate Shrek, re- he recreates the Shrek scene with colored pencils. <laughs> He's yeah. like he doesn't remember the name of Lord Farquaad. Mm-hmm. It's great. Uh, it really Chan sucks Chan. that he had to rape Barb. <laughs> yeah, it really, it really sucks he had to rape his own brother. It sucks. You like, you like the guy, and then he turns out to be a rapist. It's like, oh. Yeah. You know, this is the thing. Really apparently, apparently, for Shrek 2 retold, they wanted to get Christian back, but now he's incarcerated. Well, that's why they got well, me to be Chris Chan's lawyer, of course. Yes. What were you saying, Potato? This is fucking insane individual who, uh... He wasn't, the same. he wasn't the same. No, I'm talking about the woman who, like, was talking to him. Oh, the oh, one yeah. who, like, blew oh, up yeah. rats in the microwave and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, she's insane. <laughs> like, more insane than he was. Yeah, it's still fucker. Uh... Oh my god. Shut the fuck up. Are you really that close? <laughs> I, 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 take I, I take that back. Okay, that was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. I know she's a reprehensible individual. <laughs> I'd still hit if I could to quote negative XP. <laughs> Speaking of negative XP, Anthony yeah. Antano here. Was... <laughs> he fell off. He fell off. <laughs> he fell off in the divorce. I'll say that. I'm sorry, but I don't. I argue that he was never on. You could argue that, yeah. I mean, he was. He could. Him crying every day about uh, MIA is funny. Yeah. And he has yeah, no, no longer has that. a wife. <laughs> it's so funny that the wife, his wife, just no. leaked the divorce papers just to spite him. It just really puts in <laughs> retrospect of how sad that whole situation is. Not even that, but just how sad he was. As an individual, I mean, considering how much he, he like threw his back, he, he threw his back away from like Sam Hyde. Cause him and Sam were friends, and then like once uh, the world peace shit happened, he was like, "Nope, you're out of here. Fuck you." Oh, it didn't. And then he get like what Willie? Because they're they're calling. Oh, he's a white supremacist. And it's like, oh, 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 we be cool. It's like, okay, dude. Yeah, and it became unfunny. the same thing happened with him and Ariel Pink. And all this shit, and also I, yeah. I don't, it, I don't like it listening to Anthony Fantano talk about music. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I can't listen to him, anyways. He sounds like no, he's he not a talk real about... person. <laughs> he doesn't talk about he doesn't talk about real music. Like he's probably classes, a, one of those lizard people. Probably. Like, I just mean, like. Just like the gut one in the government. I like Death yeah, Grips as much as the next guy, but I think he wants to suck off uh, MC Ride. I think he wants to MC Ride. I think the, he wants to ride MC Ride. Where's the, where's the Clat 2 review for uh, the Needle Drop? Yeah. Remember uh, when he, re- remember when he reviewed um, 
the Soldier Kirk's the Wall album. Oh, oh yeah, he did. Well, look who look who's falling off now, bitch. There's plenty of people you can just go down the rabbit hole of, of shit like Wings. But Wings was never on. No. <laughs> uh, no one. No one. It was on like diabetes medicine. <laughs> Spoonie. So Spoonie's kind of gotten back on. He's got the job you know. now. He's got. Gotten... He's, he's not. I, I I wonder if <laughs> he's working on perhaps a in retrospect of that you're you're never on in the first place, but if you come back and you hop on, did you fall off to begin with? So true, so true. I mean, I I have a respect for people that um like 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 Doug that embrace like. The fact that a lot of people are making fun of them and get like ironic enjoyment out of it and be like, not not like trying to profit off of it like Tarim Maso does, but like being like, yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. I like I like these people. Yeah, which is something I wanted to talk about, which was uh, Isaac HP um, making the gr- <laughs> the crucifixion. Yeah, which well, I don't use TikTok. is a very very interesting. Um, very interesting video. Yeah. Do, dare I call it art? But it's a it's a it's a reflection about falling off or taking a bit too far, you know. And it came out in a very prime time of creators falling far because of the COVID pandemic and a just a general source of now everybody has to find themselves fighting for themselves for their their channels or mm. their popularity like you know dogs in a reservoir tank or something like a re- reservoir dog I think, I think about ones people are still I still consider on and how like they could, they could have gone a different direction I think John Tron had a moment where he could have gone down into the local rabbit hole and then he just he didn't and yeah. then he disappeared and then he he got he back on and then he got a wife and then now he's still making he good videos him. yeah which is still yeah. surprising to me because every time i watch a new john Trump video it's gonna be like uh, i think sometimes it, it really just takes them getting a life you know maybe taking a pause for six months i was actually t- just thinking about this getting a life. The, the, um, the amount of what trad culture the tr- like the whole trad culture yeah. thing that has erupted, especially in the past two years, and all this stuff. Is I was just thinking about how always online people, uh, it's like they just it's like a desire to have an actual life, is the thing, yeah. which is like what I say. Like, I and yet before that, it's they desire for the fame that they produce. Like, I, like I say, like uh, I'm mostly offline most of the week because I just want—I don't want to be online. The worst time of my entire life was when I was always online. Is the thing. Like you don't—you don't, you don't want to be one of those people. You don't want to be a Christian. No, yeah, it's worse true. being a Christian than nobody knows about. You're just a sad, dying man. You're the whale. Starting Brendan Fraser. No. <laughs> I mean, not. if he didn't, I mean, to be fair, if he didn't get his audience, he probably wouldn't rape his yes. mother. I f- no. Full, I wouldn't. fully believe it. He would have just been an autistic man. I think. I think he might have just killed himself. <laughs> that that's also true. He might have. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Are you gonna bring up Peter? so? Uh, like, on a, on a, on a uh, much lighter note, let's talk about two people who fell off, in my mind. Two people, one person I hold dear to my heart, another person who I don't and despise. Those two people being Quentin Reviews. Uh-oh. And okay, Lindsay I was Evans. about to bring this up. The, uh, I, was, I was about to say, I have one oh. in my pocket. That's Quentin Reviews, because he's a fascinating oh. character to me. Dude. Especially as much as I've like come to understand what the bread commu- bread tube community is, which I I don't I don't like Blunzeals at all. I find 
I find her videos asinine, and yeah. her is a very annoying personality. I think when her fan base started eating her alive over not liking the Harriet Tubman movie and not liking Ryan the Last Dragon, that was it was hilarious. Yeah, that's why you should have stayed with the Star Trek. No, didn't like the Harriet Tubman movie. Put her on the twenty dollar bill. Was she said? She said it was like white porn. <laughs> it was. It was. Have I you seen it. a potato? They gave her, they gave her. Yes. I sorry. Oh, okay. Well, that makes they two gave, of us. They gave Harriet Tubman magical powers. It was like a yeah, I did think that angle was stupid. They they made her like a Harry Potter character. Wait, did they so. actually? Yeah, they gave her like a psy- psychic power almost. What the fuck? What the yeah. Fuck? Like that's how she oh, got really? the slaves across the river was with <laughs> was with the psychic, the psychic power. Ability. <laughs> are you are you joking or not? No. Yes, we're no, 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 no. I'm serious. And Potato can attest. No, no. That's a the... Yeah, I could no. That's something that happens in the yeah. movie. That is legitimately what? something that happens. It's, I was like, what is... no, watch the movie. Watch <laughs> the movie and I'll find forget. out. It's a real plot point that she has this like I'll power forget. in her head that that's how she cultivates the uh, the following of her slaves that she can take back and forth is this magical psychic power that she has the senses and all this stupid shit. You know, the, you know, I'll, I'll give the Lindsay Ellis this one. <laughs> you don't know that. No, you, you don't know that. You know, we don't. We don't. We black don't know that. Magic. Maybe she did, bro. Black pa- black girl power. <laughs> what if she was just girl bossing? Huh? Yeah, uh, it's up, fucking uh, pussy power, dude. The, pa- the power of the mental cycle. Again. Um. <laughs> Quinn oh, reviews. Yeah, Quinn reviews. You know, I'll give. Quinn I'll give one the this one. Yeah, Quentin reviews. Let's go back to Quentin reviews. Talk about Harriet Tubman movies for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't. But yeah, the Quentin reviews. Um, shit. But Doc, what do you know about? What do you know about Quentin reviews? I was crying about McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember he was. Yeah, he likes McDonald's. He's really fascinated about these specific chains that have like the he themes was. he went to Disneyland He's alone with, no, Disney World alone uh, iCarly and Victorious and Garfield Bread, bread to oh, he, him. he tried to bread be a bread to tuber him. but he's not he does, he's not well you don't have to be intelligent to be a bread tuber I think philosophy tube has proved, proven this but uh He's not well read on any subject other than like Garfield and Transformers. So if he so if he looks at that's, like Garfield and Transformers from like a current political view, he looks like a retard. Um, he look, <laughs> his, his video on the good well, place you say is, that like he already isn't. Okay, okay, his video on the good place is legitimately terrible. His like analysis of the good place is like, oh, this show is pro is like. He, he like goes through this whole rant about like oh there's a place in, at the end of the good place they're off to this portal where they can uh, kill themselves forever and I think that's kind of beautiful the idea that we can kill ourselves forever and I was like what the fuck are you talking about I remember when his contrapoints video came out I was like I was like dude contrapoints isn't gonna fuck you I'm not con- all this stuff. I'm not conscious. He's gotten very, he's gotten very overweight, point. unfortunately. Uh, not and like unhealthily overweight. One of the most, um, because I, I, I can remember, I got concerned for the man when there's a video he made a while ago where he was talking about him having anxiety and he's just like, he was describing his anxiety and he's like, oh, I, I need to just calm down and think things through and stop being anxiety and it's like that's the first that's the first sign that you have a fucking exor- a, a disorder with the anxiety <laughs> it's like if you're if you it's like oh I, have, I I can't breathe most of the day uh, huh. <laughs> I, I can't breathe most of the day 
but I know I just need to calm down. Don't don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. And I mean, based off of all the shit he said, especially the Discord stuff, like yeah. the guy sounded like he needs help, and he's been making fucking five hour long videos on Fred. Fred. <laughs> yeah. He's Fred. He's so yeah. It's, okay, okay. It's not this case, it's not five Thank hours. You. It's three hours and 39 minutes. Well, you know, Yidu C would r- rip your <laughs> throat out right now if you were talking shit about Fred. He has an eight hour video on Victorious. He's very proud of this fact. Well, Yidu C, the fat man. I, I hope, I hope, I hope Quentin Reviews gets better. I, hope so. Dude, I, I, I used to, I used to actually enjoy his videos to an extent. To an extent. But his yeah. Fallen Titans videos themselves like they're, they're, they're interesting if you if you don't <laughs> if you don't understand what he's talking about they're interesting i think the nostalgic Rick one is the biggest telling thing because he well point of made a movie and it was like a parody of the nostalgic Rick movies i yeah. haven't been able to sit through the entire thing but the first part of it is he his yeah. he reviews it and he has this whole this whole talk about uh, how he felt. It was a personal big journey in his life, finding out about the Change of Channel stuff, learning that all these people he admired weren't good people. <laughs> I was like, which I was like, I kind of related to because I remember when I found out about the Change of Channel stuff, I was like, like I loved Nostalgia Creek and shit, but I was like, I was 14 and even more retarded than I was now, than I am now. And like this, like this fully grown man. Yeah, I would beg to differ. No, no, because I thought I thought this nostalgia Creek was legitimately good. I don't not, not in this ironic way. Uh, but his, his like whole man is like he's like this thirty year old man, and he made this entire movie just to to stick it to Doug Walker in his mind. But now, like all the ch- change the channel stuff has been. Mostly disproven. Oh well, yeah, most people don't know or his care. His machinima really. stuff, his machinima video is very bad, very poorly researched. Uh, the Filthy Frank video is the most basic video you can make on Filthy Frank, and he has all this stuff on these. All these are his most popular videos. I want to point out, and with all of them, he wants to try no. to take this like he wants to. Yeah, he, he wants to be a bread tuber, but he I don't he can't. <laughs> Uh uh-huh. Well, with it, when he, you know, who? he got in a big thing calling people racist for not liking the Last Jedi. Uh, and the thing is, is like I, he's not, he, he's not very well versed in in the film, which I, I hate. I sound like an ass at saying that, but I, but there's there's a part in the Fred video where he make, he spends a whole, long time trying to make an argument that the Fred movie is a legitimately good movie. I'm not joking. It's like it's like a 30 minute segment where he's like, See, "Look at all these subtleties in the Fred movie." I know I'm sounding silly, but there's all these subtleties in the Fred movie, and I was like, "It's the Fred movie," and the subtleties he's talking about are at the party. All the boys are on one side of the room, and all the girls are on one side of the room. And he says this, the director wanted to make it seem like the party was awkward. That doesn't yeah, turn sure. it into Blade Runner. <laughs> <laughs> wow! No, you gotta get you gotta if you got UDC on here, UDC would be no. Would no, be we defending to, him. Me, and UDC tried. Yeah, I brought UDC in to watch Fred too, and he immediately left after like thirty minutes and left me and Rep to watch. <laughs> okay, to watch Fred this. too. <laughs> All he does is boast about how much he loves those that trilogy. Like. Jokingly. <laughs> Should we watch the this point review? Nobody movie? Should jokingly, the Fred movie. Come on, that is peak cinema. You know who? You know who really fell off? Yeah. Me. Me. No, I was, I was oh. gonna say Ida. Yes. Yeah. I'll say that he did. Um, pretty far. A while ago. Even then, like you look at his at that uh, N word video. The Tana Mojo was the the one. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's funny when she says, he says, yeah. say boo. But his argument is 
dumb. I mean, we all basically have the same philosoph- philosophy on the N-word and slurs in general. But mm-hmm. his his thing is like, if if, if he, for some reason his argument is that it's okay, people think it's okay to say uh, certain Asian slurs, which most people don't. I don't know what people he's hanging around with back then. That we cannot say on the podcast and that we do not condone on the podcast for our viewers. Oh, no, I condone it. I just don't Son of it. a bitch. Potato, I told you, you not to condone that know. kind of shit in front of the audience live. <laughs> Listen, we, we, we love Israel here. Oh, but Israel is here. That if, 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 if all mean? of it isn't bad, then is all of it, if all of it's bad, then all of it's bad. If all of it's good, all, all of it's good. Uh, and that we we are li- we are in like some sort of <laughs> slur purgatory. It's a it's a dumb argument That's, when you actually break uh, it down. I mean, my uh, argument is always like, yeah, the yeah, slurs are bad, but the, words. They're, they're just words, and words. don't give them power. Yeah. Like once I realized that there's nothing you're actually giving... bad with saying the N word, I stopped wanting to say the N word. Yeah, they're just words. They're, if you, you're, you're giving the words power. Yeah, and that's it's a that's not it's not the biggest thing in the world. Uh, but he he's talked about it when he was on Hassan Piker, which is funny because I use you only give the word as much power as you give the person. You know, if you you take it aghast, of course you're gonna just feel the person saying oh, it. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm w- working on a video right now, and I included from our uh, Potato Man politics video uh, the part where we talked about items and Hassan Piker. You're like, ooh, ooh, it makes me so angry. It's so <laughs> angry. It's a great quote. Like, it's a great. It's so angry. I think you know, I you know who I hope falls off? Fucking Hassan Piker. I hate that bitch. Yeah, I mean, he really has. Okay, uh, Ralph the Move Maker, gotta bring this up. Oh, oh yeah, he boy, off. he fell off hard. He fell off harder than <laughs> anybody else I know. Uh, Big fall. Mostly because he made that movie. Uh, I, even after he made Lover, he still was producing good videos. I think it was after he made his like miniseries, which is hard to find now. It was called Golden Hours. Uh, like He was hoping this is gonna be my big thing. This is gonna be my big thing on... Uh, uh, online and filmmaking, and it was just some fucking shitty miniseries about drug dealers. And I hate everything played. Not cat. even as a content creator, but as a as a filmmaker too, fell off really hard. Like when I was making that um, Rob the Moon Maker video, I was surprised how going back to the old videos, how much like creativity and even uh, like his old videos looked good. I mean, they're shot on 720p cameras, but he, he does a lot with them. But I mean, and, look at the contrast between something like King Candy and then wh- what was the it, Ralph in the multiverse? Yeah, that's piece that of shit. So la- it was so lazy. It was so fucking lazy and disappointing. Ralph the movie maker became Ralph the movie maker. <laughs> You go okay. You're you have to it. say you love a lot. I didn't. I did not say the word. What the fuck? I did not say the word that you. Are, are you saying? You, are you saying you support Pal, Palestine? You can't say that. You can't say shit. Dog. Just lynch me already, Jesus. Yeah. We can't do. <laughs> lynch, lynch. I, I've been. I've been asking <laughs> for this for episodes. And episodes. At this point, you guys just then, have to kill me. Do not. I hate everything. I'm gonna bring. I won't bring this up. Okay. Because that's also. Uh, a guy he's like out of I kind of think YMS is he's slipped I don't think he's, he's fallen slipping. off I think I, I think he's, he's just out of all of these the film review community type thing is he's one of the few that have stayed continuous YMS or IP I hate everything Oh, I hear it. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He's out of the Sardonic S crew. I think he's been the most stable. Yeah, out of all of them. Your movie suck. He fell off. Who fell off? Your movie suck, fell off. I, Your movie suck. I, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, he's kind of he's kind of slipped. Because he, he's become, he, he's streaming has overtaken that guy's life. Uh, Has he slipping, Jimmy? 
Is he slurping Jimmy? <laughs> to quote him, if there's a part of my everyday life I can monetize, I'll monetize it. Famous last words. Before I shot him in the face with my 34 Magnum revolver. <laughs> so true. You know who really fell off? Slipping Jimmy. Slipping Jimmy fell off. He fell down. He slipped. He, he fell. Tumbling down, tumbling down, down tumbling, tumbling down. down. I mean, falling off, that's always that's always a fear. Don't fall off. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, you know, guys it's, know it's who fell off? I, I, oh, yeah, you can continue. Yeah, I'll... I'll that, that's, that's always the fear of, is the fall off. You just, you just don't, and it's a shame so many people I used to watch all the time, just... Like, there's some people like Parasynical that just, I don't like their videos anymore. And there's just people like Ralph who just used to have a lot of talent in them and then are just become lazy. But... So... Saul fell off. No, no, you continue. No, I'm done. I'm pretty much done. You, you okay. say your shit. I can, I, can, I think, I can think of three guys who fell off actually. Three guys. Real quick. You know, they two, two of them killed dark. themselves. Oh no. No, no. Two of them killed themselves, and one of them had a brain aneurysm. John McAfee. John, that that is not who I was talking about. Oh. I was. No, that three members of. Bad finger. True. They, they really fell off by dying. You know. You know what song Bad Finger made? They made a, they made a little ditty, a little ditty named uh, a, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little ditty, a little, a little ditty, a little, a little, a little ditty named a breaking blue bad bad thing <laughs> what the fuck is this bullshit this is great so whatever we're keeping it in maybe I won't get maybe I won't get copyrighted this time maybe hey, On a more video podcast, there's know. been copyright check. I suppose. I think you have to say, Doc, in all seriousness. In all seriousness, falling off is just part of growing. Mm -hmm. Growing is a part of life. And life is a shithole. But here we are. So, thank you everybody out there. This has been the Potato Man Podcast, and I'll leave it to Potato to leave us with some final words. Whatever you do, kids out there, just remember, do not take the candy from the man in the alleyway. Yeah. That's no good. Okay.